13 signs tarot before we get into your reading i would like to let you know if you need a personal reading from me you can check out my website at harleysworld13.com tarot you can book a personal reading by going to that website you also can check out some of the products i have there i have candles teas and sage you can all check all that out on the website if you would like to get conjure work or spell work, you can email me at 13signstarot at gmail.com. If you're interested in getting free readings, I do free readings on Instagram Live, so you can check me out on Instagram at 13signstarot as well. I thank you so much for watching. Please leave a comment and a like, and if you like my videos, please subscribe and hit the notification bell because it will let you know when I upload new videos or when I go live on YouTube, okay? Thank you so much. Hope you enjoy your reading. Bye. Hello Aquarius, this is going to be your mid-October reading. I hope you're doing well. This is Harley and thank you for watching 13 Signs Tarot. I hope that if this reading resonates with you, you'll subscribe. All right, uh, this will be for the sign of Aquarius, sun, moon, rising, wherever Aquarius resonates. And of course, if you're watching for an Aquarius, it could resonate as a cross watcher, okay? So remember to take the energies if they resonate right if you need a personal reading make sure you check out my website it is in the description box below you'll be able to book a, a reading by going to my website i'm also holding a ten dollar video reading special that's in the uh, description box as well if you're interested okay so aquarius uh if you want the extended you also find that don't let me forget about that there's going to be an extended where we go over the outcome for the rest of october and we also will talk about november in the extended okay so your first card out is the high priestess so i feel that you and your person may not be communicating so you could be dealing with a pisces or a cancer um but yeah there's like a lack of communication most likely between you and this person right now okay i've been seeing this for you guys actually so we have the nine of pentacles this person really likes you though they really are fascinated by you they really think that you're attractive with the nine of pentacles they may be waiting until you're single or maybe you are single now and they know that but they're still kind of holding back from you even though they know you're single because the nine of pentacles we know is like someone being single uh but i also feel like they really find you attractive with the nine of pentacles definitely someone who would c commit to you the seven of swords though so they may feel that you're deceptive though aquarius with the seven of swords they feel like they may feel like you're deceptive um I'm not even going to say what I feel about that because people be getting in their feelings in the comments. But yes, okay, some of you, this person may be trying to lock you down, but they may feel that you're deceptive or they may be being deceptive. This person could also be avoiding expressing their emotion with the Seven of Swords, okay? They may feel that you're manipulative, Aquarius. Now remember, this is this person's feelings. If it's you feeling that way, then reverse the energies. But you guys, this is how they're feeling about you, okay? And this could be why they're not communicating with you. So they, they may really, really love you and may really, really be fascinated by, by you, obsessed with you, but they feel like you're manipulative or deceptive. And it sounds like every girl my Aquarius brother done ever dated, okay? So we just got that. Anyway, Six of Wands. So we have the Leo energy here. So you could be dealing with a Leo. Um, this person may be trying to, like, get to you, though. They may be, like putting on a show or doing something to try to get your attention with the six of wands they may be acting like everything is fine like they're not into you but they are okay strong leo energy that's something a leo would do have the inside scoop on that so trust me that is something a leo would do um or they feel that you're doing this they feel like it's it can be either way but this is what i'm feeling all right so we have the eight of wands this, a lot of this stuff is happening online. A lot of y'all are watching each other online or stories, Snapchat. There's a lot of online stuff going on with you and this person, okay? So we're going to keep your outcome card face down and we'll do that in the extended. Overall, though, the Ace of Pentacles is your energy. So I do feel like you and this person have a future together, especially with this High Priestess. Some would say that's the Divine Feminine of the Twin Flame Union. So you could be in that. If that is your case, you might want to check out my Twin Flame channel, Six of Cups Tarot. Um, and check out the messages that I have over there for twin flame energies. But with this particular person, they're kind of putting on a show for you or you're putting on a show for them in my toddler's tarot voice. So let's see what the seven of swords here is. Two, one. <clears throat> 
uh, Knight of Swords. So yeah, they. This is how they feel about you, Aquarius. This is a, an Aquarian card. Um, actually, it can be Gemini, but um, they could. This this could be a Gemini. You two could have had an argument, and this is why you're avoiding each other. Um, this person is very conflicted about you. Very conflicted about you. They're trying not to feel emotionally. They think about you a lot, but they don't want you getting. They don't want you in on them feels. Okay. This could be the Aquarian too. Yeah, see, at the core of everything, they miss you though with the Five of Pentacles. But they're they're not trying to let you in on them feels. Definitely could be a Leo. All right, what's up with the Six of Wands? Two. What's up with the Six of Wands? Lord. Five of Cups. Yeah, see, this person with the Fucus energy here. Mm, nasty. I love this card. It's so dope. Okay. Anyway, this is the Celestial Tarot. But yeah, see on the up on on the see this is the thing they got the six of wands and they got the five of cups. So on the surface they look all happy. They look like they're you know fine. They're doing all right. They're making moves, blah blah blah. But on the inside they have the five of cups card and they're just in their feelings for real and they're looking back on the past and reminiscing and maybe if they did something to you they feel bad about what they did. They feel regret. Um, they also want to apologize with the Page of Cups. And this is autumn, so we're actually in that time now. So I feel like this person wants to communicate with you. And you guys have been getting this energy of letting someone come to you for the longest. All right. Now, if you are the Aquarius and you are being deceptive, you are being avoiding commitment, you are out here looking good but breaking people's hearts, then you might actually do need to reach out to that person. Okay. If you're an Aquarian who are is in the more detached form of the Aquarius we'll put that if you're in the more detached form of the Aquarius then you may need to be the person to reach out because you might be the one out here doing the seven of swords stuff okay um but if you are you know an Aquarian you might have like a Cancerian moon god bless your heart but you know you may have a soul cold as ice but then you just in your feels all the time with that moon or something so your person is the one doing this to you or something like that I don't know then they need to come to you. And, they, and like I said, it's all dependent on your situation. A lot of this stuff is happening online. I'm feeling a lot of online back and forth subliminal shit. What's this Eight of Wands here? A little subliminal shit. And somebody's going to come back with the Page of Cups. Empress. <clears throat> yeah, see, somebody's looking at somebody online. Ace of Cups. Or Aquarius, they may feel like you're moving on for some of you. They may feel like you're moving towards a new committed relationship. Maybe this is someone in the past that you don't want. But I feel like they're not. I feel like this person wants, they want you, Ace of Cups, Empress, and they want you fast in a hurry. They want to communicate that with you for some of you. Somebody's online, though. I, keep, I don't know why I keep seeing that. What's this Ace of Cups and Empress for? And then we're going to go ahead and get in the extended and see where this is headed. Because I really feel like this person wants to communicate with you, but they're being stubborn. Five of Wands, yeah. See, somebody's got a lot of people vying for them. It's either you, Aquarius, you've got some options, or this person's got some options with the Two of Wands. Okay, yeah, that's what I'm getting here. Okay, I just heard, basically, so either you have options, Aquarius, okay, and this person knows that you have options, and they're, like, wanting to come back towards you. They're watching you on social media. They're seeing all the attention that you're getting because, Aquarius, you are the air version of Leo, so you do attract attention. Okay, especially now that we're about to be headed into your season, okay? This is when you guys are waking up right now. This is when y'all start to come out of the, the y'all hibernation because y'all don't like the warmth, you know? I'm just talking about the Aquarian energy, y'all, or winter. So this is when y'all start waking up. Um, we're actually Leos. We're kind of like chilling out right now. We're more working and going back and being more reserved hermit mode. So this is when you guys are coming out doing your star of the show thing and your air way so this person definitely could be seeing that oh, okay especially online snapchat watching stories and stuff like that um if not from their own page then someone else's um but i also feel um for some of you out there someone um okay yes for this person aquarius if you're watching this for your person and you're an aquarian watching this your person may have someone else trying to commit to them trying to give them commitment they could have met someone else online and this person is trying to give this person your your person aquarius commitment but they don't want that person because they want you 
Like they, they could move on with somebody here, okay? Because I did want to mention that. I almost lost it, but it came back. All right. So your person has someone else that they possibly could have met online or, you know, they could have already known this person. But there's some competition here now. And this person is kind of trying to hold off on this new relationship in hopes that you two will come back together and that you will accept them back in their apology or whatever. You might not even want them back. They might need to just go on and carry their ass, but we'll see in the outcome in the extended, okay? So uh, go ahead and follow me over there. The link is in the description if you want to download the uh, extended and watch it. We'll be getting into the rest of October and November, okay? So I'll see you over there, Aquarius. If not, make sure you subscribe so you can see more readings if you like my style, okay? Um, you can also get a personal. And remember, I'm having the Halloween special going on, so... Good time to test it out if you want to see how I read, okay? So see you later, Aquarians. Bye.